Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today our video about characteristic X-ray appearances of osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis can affect any synovial joints. The hands, wrists, hips, knees and feet are most commonly affected. First, we have to take a look on normal X-ray. For example, normal anteroposterior view of the knee. Characteristic X-ray appearances include 1. Joint space narrowing 2. Osteophytes 3. Articular irregularity and or sclerosis 4. Subcortical cysts 5. Intraarticular loose bodies These features can be seen in isolation but commonly two or more signs are present. Note, erosions are not a feature and if seen should raise the suspicion of an inflammatory arthritis, such as rheumatoid arthritis. Number 1. Joint space narrowing. In this picture, we see the medial side of the knee joint is severely narrowed, such that the femur and the tibia are touching, and the lateral side of the joint is widened and there is abnormal varus angulation of the tibia. We see also increased density indicates articular surface sclerosis. 2. Osteophytes Our example here at the knee showing the formation of osteophytes, bone spurs, which is a common feature of osteoarthritis. This anteroposterior view of the knee shows osteophytes of the tibia and the femur, and small osteophytes have also formed at the tibial spines, which is called tibial spiking. The knee joint spaces are narrowed and irregular. 3. Articular irregularity and or sclerosis. This picture shows the joint space is narrowed and the cortical surface is irregular. Increased density of the articular surface indicates sclerosis and there is a small subcortical cysts have formed. 4. Subcortical cysts. Although subcortical bone cysts are a characteristic finding of osteoarthritis, they are only visible in approximately one-third of X-rays of osteoarthritic joints. This hip joint is narrowed and the large osteophytes have formed. Note, these cysts may be called subchondral cysts, subcortical cysts, or jutes. Any of these terms are acceptable. Intraarticular loose bodies. In some patients, calcified loose bodies may be seen within an osteoarthritic joint. These are fragments of bone or cartilage which have detached from the joint surfaces and remain in the joint capsule. This lateral view of the knee also shows severe osteoarthritis of the patellofemoral joint, which is very narrow. Note, don't mistake a fabella for a loose body. See, it is an example of a normal fabella. This picture is an example of multiple osteoarthritic changes uh, in the form of large osteophytes have formed at the joints of the fingers. These osteophytes correspond to the clinical finding of bone swelling at the distal interphalangeal joints which is called Hibberton's nodes, and the proximal interphalangeal joints, which is called Bouchard's nodes. The joints are severely narrowed, and there are large subcortical cysts have also formed in this patient with severe osteoarthritis of the finger's joint. The ring couldn't be longer be removed. Grades of osteoarthritis, grade 0, there is no joint space narrowing or reactive changes. Grade 1 Possible osteophytic clipping plus doubtful joint space narrowing. Grade 2 Definite osteophytes plus possible joint space narrowing. Grade 3 Moderate osteophytes, definite joint space narrowing, some sclerosis, and possible bone and deformity. Grade 4, large osteophytes, marked joint space narrowing, severe sclerosis, and definite bone and deformity.